Hello Capricorn, welcome to your December 2019 He Said, She Said reading. Thanks for joining us. My name is Michelle. My name's Richard. We're doing a He Said, She Said reading today, which means I'll be reading as you Capricorn, Richard will be reading as the person that you're dealing with, and depending how you identify, either side can resonate, so please keep that in mind. Let's get started. Leading the way, this is your oracle card from Alice the Wonderland. Capricorn, it's all about you showing others how it's done, but not by telling them. Really, it's about showing. It's about being a leader. So assisting someone else, perhaps through some emotional trauma, by leading by your own example. Now, this could be direct, or it could be indirect as well. So we'll see where that one goes. Richard has pulled from Dark Mirror, the card of I Won't Cry For You. Sometimes when it's over, closure must be created, not just found. I gave you my last gift. I shed my last tear for you. It's a time not to let you free, but to let myself free. So this is around a breakup and recovering from a breakup. Capricorn, let's see what's going on. Of course, this could be you, could be someone around you. Or if you're cross-watching, a Capricorn might be doing this to you as well. The bottom of the deck, I've got the Three of Swords. And I've got the Queen of Wands in the reverse. And we'll cut these cards and we will focus in on the status of this relationship, how you are viewing this person, the strengths, what's working for the relationship, the weaknesses, what's working against it, what you should do in this situation, what you shouldn't do, and the likely outcome. Okay, status of the relationship, how this person's viewing you, Capricorn. Strengths, weaknesses, what this person should keep doing, what they should stop doing, and the outcome if nothing changes. All right. I like this. We have the Ten of Cups. So leading the way to emotional fulfillment. So this is, seems to be a happy situation, Capricorn, one in which there is true happiness, harmony. It's that uh, light at the end of the tunnel. The uh, Very much a, a feeling here of feeling... Uh, satisfied happy with the people that are around you and uh, there's an element around this of that happily ever after you know that uh, that true connection over here we have justice in reverse so it's about a situation that uh, is unfair or perhaps is perceived as being unfair so often during a, uh, a breakup we can think of things as not being fair we can take on that victim mentality that's kind of what I feel like is around this card here how are you viewing this person we've got the ace of wands so this is a something new I feel Capricorn so it's very much a making you happy it's a passionate new beginning it uh, I feel it's in relation to love but for some of you it may not be it could be a new a new place it could be a new job a new situation but nevertheless there is the start of something really good and I feel that there's harmony around this as well over here we've got the moon in reverse so there is a, there is an, an idea here of things getting real I think this this is how this person's viewing you Capricorn they're viewing you as somebody who is seeing things as they are Let's take a look and see what we have here as the strength. We've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. You know, I'm picking this up as hesitation. So it may be delayed, this new beginning, this happiness. But that's a good thing, I think. Yeah, it's coming across as a good thing uh, that it's being delayed. It may be because someone's still trying to deal with something over there that there it may be some I pick up that the emotional trauma is on that side mm. something that they've needed to to heal themselves from they're trying to put things right though they're trying to get the balance back in their life mm. put things right where they may have gone down the wrong road or done something that was uh, they're perceiving as uh, was an injustice of some, some kind that may have even been the injustice was towards you Capricorn but we'll see all right let's look at the strengths over here we have the nine of cups in the reverse as a strength yeah it's, it, it seems to me like uh, short-term fulfillment is actually a strength here mm. uh, maybe that's what's required to get over this situation 
Yeah, let's let's see about that. The weakness we have the strength in reverse. Well, weakness is the weakness is weakness. So it it tells me that this individual has to get stronger in themselves. So Richard's right, you know, they may be going towards short-term things in order to get their strength back or to feel feel more confident. It seems like this delay, during this delay, there's something that they're doing in order to get their strength back, mm. to build, build their confidence up. But the question is, are they doing it the right way? Yeah, I don't feel that they're finding happiness there. Mm. That's for sure. Yeah, if they were, I'd, this would be more in the upright, wouldn't it? Mm. So whatever they're doing, I don't think they're finding it fulfilling. No. Over here, the weakness, the hanged man. Mm. Yeah, I think it's it's not getting that enlightenment is the problem. Yeah, and I think they've kind of left you hanging here, Capricorn, probably on the back burner until they deal with something that uh, that they're doing over there that doesn't seem to be leading down the right way for them but nevertheless they've gone down this road the strength or rather what you need to keep doing we've got the tower so this is about uh, you continuing to i see this as revelation with this it's that spark it's that moment where you know something so i think recently something's been revealed to you probably in a very unexpected way i don't think you expected this for instance to come, be coming down the pike at you so this is quite an unexpected event quite surprising and i feel like it came to you all in a rush where it was something you weren't even aware of before but it became aware to you very suddenly very quickly i keep getting that energy but now that you have this idea and it is an idea with this ace of wands of where this happiness lies it's being delayed because i feel it's the other person that has to go through some kind of confidence building before they're ready yeah, having this this hangman here as a weakness, mm. yeah, that's another sign of delay, really, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, looking over here at what this person should keep doing, we have the nine of swords, so they're still recovering from this event, this trauma that they've suffered, uh, and the they're being called on here to continue that suffering. I mean, to feel to really feel that pain. I mean. Often that's uh, that's what people are told after a breakup. You've got to you can't just hide that pain. You've got to or try and bury it. You've got to, you've got to feel it. You've got to get it out. And I feel like that's what this card is saying. Mm. Let's see what the what you shouldn't do, Capricorn. We've got the Six of Swords in the reverse here. This is about I feel it's about denial of what's going to lead you out of. Uh, a situation that hasn't been working for you and lead you into uh, better times so it's it's about you being aware and not denying this inspiration that you have around this other person but at the same time it's about not being discouraged or disappointed that things are not happening as quickly as perhaps you might like yeah so there is a air of impatience that's possible here and yeah. that's what i see with that strength card in reverse as well impatience impatience yeah, you know that's not, right. not willing to not willing to wait yeah to to get the best result mm -hmm. you know sometimes when we move too soon for something you know that can result in us not being able to obtain it right oh look what we've got here we've got the six of swords here as what this person should not do so that they again it's about it's almost like this person isn't ready to move on yet. Mm, it seems like it. Yeah, that's a, they, they still have some, they still have some um, some work to do here to to get over whatever trauma they they're dealing with here. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at the outcome. We've got the uh, the six of pentacles. Well, I feel that this is you leading by example, showing others how it's done. It's not about charity or or providing assistance to this person it's just really about compassion support so 
what I'm feeling around this is that this is this is kindness, generosity, support. There's a feeling here of being able to provide this person with something, but for some reason I, I feel like it's not in person. I feel it's just like by showing. Mm. Leading sh by example. Leading by example. I don't feel that this is you giving them advice. Mm. I don't feel that at all. It's just by you. Being you. Being you, Capricorn, and uh, strength. I, I see it as... Uh, strength, I see it as uh, being kind and not being, you know, because you've already been through your stuff, obviously, with this tower and showing this person that they can go through tower moments without being bitter, without becoming um, uh, bogged down with a lot of uh, uh, baggage, you know, I get this as baggage. Well, you, you know, often what can happen after a breakup is there can sometimes be a, a fairly deep wound. Yeah. And, you know, the, the size of that wound is, is often decided by how this person deals with what they're dealing with. Yeah, showing them that happiness is still possible in some way. I don't know how mm. you're doing that, but it, it may just be by, they may be, they may be someone who is a friend who is looking in at you and saying, well, that person's been through a lot. How are they able to manage it? Mm -hmm. And uh, and just by kind of looking in at you and, and seeing how you do it, somehow you lead the, the, the way here. So it's not about direct support or offering this person assistance in that way. It's really just, uh, I think it's about by, by being open by being open to uh, the universe, not closing yourself off to opportunity, not becoming embittered and then becoming isolated. I have a feeling that this is someone here who, who has a tendency, if they become bitter or disappointed about uh, not having their wishes fulfilled or uh, things not happening in their life, they can tend to close off and become quite uh, bitter in some way so it, it's it's about showing someone that they don't have to be embittered when they go through a, a breakup all right let's take a look at the outcome here we have strength mm. in reverse as the outcome it's not a great outcome it's not, uh, not not what i was kind of hoping for i was hoping for something more like strength in the upright mm. But it, it's just another sign here that this person is not done with their grieving they're not done with what they need to to get through in order to, to, to successfully break away from this trauma. Mm, mm. Yeah, so I feel like you're showing someone, I, I feel it's, it's a friend, uh, it could be a lover, I mean, some of you, yeah, I mean, you could be breaking up with someone, but I, I don't know, I don't think so. I, I get more an element of uh, showing this individual how to get through something that things can get better, that they, they're not always going to feel uh, this nine of swords. It's certainly someone who is very fearful of what comes next for them and they can tend to get hung up and, and stuck on a uh, on negativity, a pessimism, not believing things that can, can get better. But Capricorn, it, it could be vice versa, of course, but I, I feel like you're the one here that is off in some role of support around this person. You could even be a family member. So we'll see where this goes in the extended. I do hope that you join us there. The link is below in the descriptions box and that will be available on the Vimeo channel. It'll be about another 30 minute or so reading. We're clarifying everything on the table and of course things can change in the extended once we start putting out more cards of course. So it, it can sometimes be a, a quite a, a different type of reading once we, we start getting into the nitty gritty. But on the face of it, it appears like someone's dealing with a, a bad breakup and the other person is just kind of leading them through it in some way. Could be a new love, of course, uh, it's possible as well. So we'll see. I do hope you join us. If you would prefer a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. If you would uh, 
please like share and subscribe and if this one isn't resonating with you of course you can check the sulfur repair playlist on the channel and uh, that, those are readings that are done in this he said she said style but they're not sign or time dependent so you may find your situation there we do wish you the best with this capricorn we'll see you in part two or we'll see you soon thanks capricorn goodbye and good luck